Hi, this is Blair Marnell from Crave Online, and we're here at AMC's world premiere of Hell on Wheels in Los Angeles. Check it out. Are you a gunslinger? That's just heading out west to look for work on the railroad. Hell on Wheels chronicles the building of the American Transcontinental Railroad, but really focuses on the westward expansion. This whole story is sort of about the exploitation of the West. There's a diverse range of characters and themes that are explored. I think it's unique and nuanced in that way. Colin Bohannon's a former Confederate officer who, at the end of the Civil War, discovered that his uh, wife and child had been killed by a particular Union outfit, and he's taken it upon himself to seek revenge. Eventually, in order to track down the last man who killed his family, he has to embed himself with the construction of the Transcontinental Railroad. Helen Wheels, which refers to the town, the tent city that moves with the railroad as we build, as we move along, is a very unruly place. I mean, it's not called Hell on Wheels for nothing. Because Hell on Wheels is such a violent place, there was a lot of blood involved in the show. There was a lot of fun just sort of being covered in blood all the time and the mud and the um, just the dirt and the filth it was just it was a lot of fun to be part of it i had some of the greatest experiences just working on this show in general it moved me man it was like one of my best creative experiences it's kind of weird seeing your face on a, a billboard everywhere i got a great picture of myself with my own billboard <laughs> sent it to my mom so that was pretty cool nation which nearly destroyed itself by civil war between North and South can only be healed by the binding together of East and West. Other people will think he's a bad guy, but I wouldn't necessarily agree with that. He's got one dream, and that is to build this railroad, to be the first man to connect East and West. And the Swede is like my enforcer. Do you do something wrong in the Hell on Wheels? Watch out for the Swede. My character has lived with the Native Americans for four years of her childhood. She now works as a prostitute for the men on the railroad. So she's a busy lady. He's trying to help, you know, he's trying to bridge the gap between all the cultures and he wants to see how the white people in town, how they pray, how the way they conduct themselves. He's curious about everything, so he takes it upon himself to, to go and learn all that to help his people. My favorite Western. Unforgiven. I think anything with Clint Eastwood. I used to get a big kick out of watching him. Oh, Westerns like The Magnificent Seven and that were always huge for me when I was a kid. There's a little known Sergio Leone film called Duck You Sucker. True Grit and also the remake of 310 to Yuma. I thought that was really good. 310 to Yuma. Tombstone. Tom Horn is a fantastic Western. Fantastic. Come check the AMC show Hell on Wheels on November 6th and stay in tune with it. Not my words, gentlemen. It will be built. That's all for now, but keep coming back for all the TV coverage that you crave.